Hi, Mystery Recapped here. Today, I am going to explain an American absurdist comedy drama film called Everything Everywhere All at Once. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. The protagonist Evelyn Wang is a Chinese-American who came to the US long ago with her husband, Waymond. The couple runs a laundromat which has been struggling for the past few years. It is currently being audited by the IRS and is at risk of being closed. Evelyn's life has not turned out how she wanted it to. Her daughter Joy is in a lesbian relationship that she doesn't approve of, and her husband Waymond is seeking to get a divorce in their loveless marriage. Moreover, she is soon being visited by her father, Gong, who never wanted her to leave China. In the following scene, Evelyn Waymond and her father go to the IRS office to submit the papers related to their business. The three get on an elevator when something strange happens. A force hits Waymond and makes him act strange. His demeanor changes entirely, almost as if he has changed into a different person. He turns towards his wife and tells her that her life is in danger. He doesn't have much time to explain because the real Waymond will come back to his body in a second. He makes her wear a headset and gives her a set of notes to follow once he is gone. The headset starts working and shows him a panel on his phone. Then, something strange happens to Evelyn. She remembers every single thing that has ever happened to her, from her birth to how she left China to the birth of her daughter and how they drifted apart. Suddenly, Waymond comes back to his normal self, leaving Evelyn utterly confused. They go to the IRS officer, Deirdre, and show her the income and expenditure file. She is not happy about the unnecessary purchases made in the name of their business. Their shop is on the verge of being frozen, but all Evelyn can think of is what happened earlier. She brings the paper out, which asks her to switch her shoes to the wrong feet, close her eyes, and imagine herself in the janitor's closet. When she does so, her entire reality changes. Evelyn is able to make a second version of herself whose consciousness is inside the janitor's closet with a different Waymond. She is in two places at the same time, much to her astonishment. Waymond then explains the truth about the multiverse. In reality, the world is a cluster of several universes called the multiverse. There are trillions of Earths in trillions of universes that exist close to ours. On every Earth lives a different version of a person. One can be a doctor, a pilot, an animal, or even a rock. Similarly, this Waymond belongs to the universe named Alpha. It is the most advanced universe so far, and the one that discovered the concept of the multiverse. In Alpha Earth, Evelyn is a scientist who found out a way to make one's consciousness travel into a different universe. Using the same process, Alpha Waymond transferred his consciousness into the Waymond of this world. Evelyn still doesn't know what he is or why he has come to her. Alpha Waymond replies that the entire world is is at the risk of being destroyed by their daughter Joy. In the Alpha world, Joy was the most talented bouncer who could exist in several universes at a time. Evelyn pushed her limits and made a malfunction in the system, which gave Joy the power to exist in every single universe at once. She gained knowledge about trillions of versions of herself and came to the conclusion that nothing matters. The world is a lie and humans are just a pack of misery. To end this misery and gain eternal peace, she created a black hole called the Everything Bagel Black Hole. She wants to suck the multiverse inside and end everything to ever exist. The only person who can stop Joy is Evelyn. Hence, Joy is going into universes one after another to kill all versions of her mother. This version of Evelyn is the saddest one so far. She hasn't done anything significant in her life or in her career, unlike all other versions of herself who are successful to some level. Hence, Alpha Waymond believes that she is the one out of trillions of Evelyns who will help to save the multiverse. Alpha Joy is evil and is sending several people to kill Evelyn. Hence, she should immediately learn to defend herself. In some universes, Evelyn is a martial arts expert. If she jumps into one such universe, she will be able to learn the skills instantly, which will help further her fight. Right then, they are attacked by Joy's minions, who have found out where Alpha Waymond is. Deirdre also attacks them, having been taken over by her Alpha version. In the middle of the fight, Evelyn jumps universes for the first 
first time, looking for a universe where she is a martial arts expert. However, she accidentally reaches a universe in the future where she and her husband are discussing their divorce. Evelyn jumps back to the world and tries for a second time. Fortunately for her, this time she reaches the universe where she is an expert fighter. In this reality, she chose to stay in China rather than come to the US with Waymond. She eventually grew up to become an expert in martial arts and a highly successful actress. She lives that life for a few seconds and then returns to the original world. Evelyn can almost not believe that one single decision made such a harsh difference in her life. But before she can overthink the mistake, she is attacked by Deirdre. She beats her ass this time, having learned everything that the actress version of herself knew. When everything calms down, Alpha Waymond asks her to eat. While she is at it, she again envisions herself in the world where she is an actress. In an event, Alpha Waymond comes to meet her. Without her, he has also become a successful businessman. They reunite after years, but the spark between them is still present. Alpha Waymond brings her out of her dreams because they have to get away before the evil Joy arrives. What they do not know is that Joy has taken over Evelyn's daughter and is already inside the building. Alpha Waymond loses connection and returns to his own world, leaving Evelyn alone. A few minutes later, Evelyn meets the evil Joy, dressed in her signature funky clothing. She has the power to manifest and change anything about all universes. She causes a policeman to turn into confetti and starts performing a salsa dance with the other. She also fights a man using adult toys, leaving Evelyn, and probably the audience, in utter shock. After defeating everyone else, she walks towards Evelyn, ready to kill her as well. Just then, Evelyn makes a jump to a universe where she can learn more fighting skills. However, she ends up in a place where people have hot dogs for fingers. In this world, she is in a relationship with Deirdre, who loves to watch people eat each other's fingers. Get me the hell out of this place. Because of this mistake, she is about to be killed, but is saved by Alpha Gong. A while later, all the Alphas disappear, leaving Joy and Waymond confused. Evelyn tries explaining everything to them, but the two do not believe in her absurd stories. By now, the evil Joy has taken many people under her control and is making them attack the family. Evelyn goes into different realities to acquire all knowledge that the different versions of herself know. She finds herself to be a blind woman, a singer, a cook, an artist, and a street artist for a pizza company, all in different universes. Using the skills of all the versions, she is able to defeat everyone in one go. In the end, she is exhausted and is held by the Alpha Waymond. Back on the Alpha planet, Joy gets to her father and kills him. As a result, he dies in Evelyn's arms as well, leaving only the original Waymond behind. Following that, Joy comes to Evelyn again, confident that no one will stop her this time. Evelyn tries going into more universes, but it makes her sick. Joy laughs at her and leaves her to die. In the next scene, Evelyn wakes up as the actress, watching the premiere of her new film. She simultaneously wakes up as a cook in the movie Rakakui, where the rat is a raccoon. Being in so many realities at once is too hard for her to take. Suddenly, everything shuts down, and she goes back to her future self, who is in her office after the meeting at the IRS. They are preparing for the Chinese New Year celebration. Evelyn runs to Joy and asks her if she is fine. She soon figures out the person she is talking to is the evil Joy. The mother and daughter face each other in different realities, even in the one where they are both born as pinatas. In the process, Evelyn also goes through the same malfunction that made Joy evil. She meets every single version of herself and realizes that nothing matters. In every life, she is miserable in one way or the other, and the same goes for everyone who is ever born. Evelyn finally understands why her daughter wants to end everything and sides with her. In the following scene, we are shown another reality where the mother and daughter are rocks on a cliff. They chat through telepathy and tell each other that even in a life as a rock, they are miserable. They decide that there is no point in the world's existence, so they should end it as a whole. The two are finally in front of the everything bagel black hole, ready to sacrifice themselves. At this moment, Evelyn gets an epiphany. She focuses on herself, who is currently in her laundromat. Deirdre has come with the police to arrest her for tax fraud and the chaos she caused at the IRS office today. She is handcuffed while her husband talks to Deirdre, trying to convince her to let them go. He finally convinces her, and they get a week to submit the proper audit of the shop. 
He then comes to his wife, assuring her everything will be fine. This makes Evelyn realize there are some things in life that do matter, little things that make it worth living, unlike what she had thought earlier. In the reality where she is an actress, she and Waymond meet in an alley after the movie premiere. There are a lot of things holding them back from being together, but Evelyn brushes them aside and declares that they should date. Likewise, in the hot dog hands reality, she and Deirdre solve their differences and live as a happy couple. In all trillion universes, Evelyn finds something that is worth the life they live, and hence, she hugs Waymond, refusing to go into the black hole with the evil Joy. Joy sends an army of people to attack her, but Evelyn makes them understand the revelation that she just had. In the end, they are also convinced that life is worth living. However, Joy does not feel the same. She walks toward the black hole to end herself. In another reality, Evelyn introduces Joy's girlfriend to her father, not ashamed of her daughter anymore. They mend their relationship and embrace each other in a last hug. As a result, the evil Joy also comes to terms with the reality of life. Even if the entire world is against you, there is always one thing or one person who makes life worth living. Evelyn, Waymond, and Gong collectively pull evil Joy out of the bagel and bring her back to her normal self. The scene then cuts to a week later. The family is outside the IRS office to submit the final draft of the audit. They have accepted Joy's girlfriend as a part of their family, and Joy couldn't be happier. Evelyn and Waymond were about to get a divorce, but the incidents have made their love stronger than ever. Evelyn listens to him and respects him, as she did years ago. Deirdre gets a look at the final audit and approves it. It turns out that the family is just bad at doing taxes, only because they don't understand the big words in the documents. The movie ends as Evelyn looks at her family with pride. She is finally happy with how her life turned out, even after knowing many other possibilities she could have become. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.